What's going on guys? This is Erie Better Beer Bureau back at you with another beer review. I'm Pat and I'm Maury. Today we're doing one from Straub out of St. Mary's PA. This is their Maybach and uh, a Maybach is basically a German Bach that is brewed with paler malts hence you get a lighter color than most Bachs are. I believe this one weighs in at 6.9% and we're going to get into it let you know what we think about it. Mm, wow. Real rich malty aroma. It is. One. It's really nice. You know, a, a touch of like uh, to toasted malts and a light caramel aroma. Not that deep, you know, heavy caramel toffee that you get off right. of some darker malts, but it's definitely still there. It's like a lighter caramel note. Yeah, there is. It is almost like a, a very, like a lightly burnt sugar, mm -hmm. you know. Um, there's a little bit of a fruity note to it, too. There Not is. Not much, but it's definitely there. Yeah, which, you know, I sometimes get that with my box. It's it's a touch grainy, too. Mm -hmm. So you definitely can get that, you know, um, grainy thing going on in the aroma. But overall, it's a very pleasant aroma. Very one. nice. Uh, very little in the way of hops, which mm -hmm. that's for part for box, the course. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> There's a good amount of flavor there. Yeah. You know? And I I think that I might get more fruitiness on the taste yeah. than was on the aroma. And then of course you get those malty caramel grainy flavors of a bock as yeah. well. Right up front you get kind of a hint of that fruitiness, kind of a sugary fruitiness. It's not real sweet though. Just the flavors tend to, to like a fruitiness. Wow. And then you get a nice rich grainy malt mm -hmm. underneath that. And there's an actual sufficient amount of bitterness on the back end of this beer to help balance it all out. Yeah. And, and the specific fruit I'm getting is golden raisins. Uh, and it's really, you know, pretty in, in your face, the fruitiness of this. Yeah, it actually has a nice lingering flavor on the back end. Mm -hmm. Well into the aftertaste, you're getting a bitterness... A little bit of a fruitiness, and again, that, that grainy malt. Mm -hmm. it's very and a prevalent. little bit, not too much to distract, but I am getting a little alcohol on the finish. Like, mm -hmm. I can taste it. Not enough where it's offensive or getting in the way of the other flavors at all. Yeah, and I would agree with you. There's just enough alcohol flavor to let you know it's there. Mm -hmm. But it's not, it's not off-putting. It's not offensive in any way. Absolutely not. You know, if anything, on the back end, because there is a sweetness on this beer towards the middle, on the back end, between the alco alcohol and maybe Very mild just hop enough flavor, hops, yeah. there is a little bitterness that kind of balances things out on the back end. You know, when you think of Straub, you know, especially living around this area, you know, they pretty much made you know, easy drinking lagers for a long, long time. And they're starting to get into this craft market a little bit. And I, I still think when people see their beer on the shelves, maybe they think, oh, you know, that's probably pretty yeah. mellow. It's from Straub. But these beers that they're making, from what we've experienced, and yeah. this Maybach is no exception here, pack a whole lot of flavor. And I've had quite a few Maybachs, and this one is up near the top for me. I'm going to give it a 4.25. I like it a lot. Yeah, I'm actually going to have to agree for the style. This is a, a rich Maybach. Its mouthfeel is spot on for the style. Nice, not overly mellow, round and full. It's yeah, very clean. pleasing. Yeah, but it is clean tasting mm -hmm. also. A great mix of a slight sugary fruitiness up front, some nice grainy malts, and then a bitterness, a mix of a, of a hop and an alcohol bitterness on the back end, make it actually a really well-balanced beer, surprisingly so. So I'm going to have to agree with a four and a quarter out of five on this for the style. All right, guys. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.